What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux. Okay, we're gonna be talking about James Charles, the latest drama that James Charles got into. And I'm kind of like taken back by it. I'm like, really? Really? This is happening? So you're not gonna believe it. And I wanna say a big thank you to everyone who like watches my video, every like, every comment. It really means a lot. So um, all my Black Friday stuff is coming in solely. So I wanna show you what I got in for Black Friday. Then I'll get into the drama. So Black Friday haul. Okay, let me get it, okay. So I freaking went on elf.com. I had to re-up on this, which is the like, it's like this elf makeup bomb remover. And let me show you. I've been using it at the house. You just put it on, massage it. It just eats away the makeup and just makeup just like falls off. Freaking love it. It's so affordable and it actually works. So I'm like on my elf kick right now. I know, right? So elf recently came out with power grip primer. And the only reason I bought it, because they have other primers, like the putty primer, which I have up here somewhere. But like, I got this primer, which was brand new, because it has um, niacinamide, 4% niacinamide in here. So I was like, okay, cool. It's a power grip primer, and it has niacinamide, niacinamide? I can't even say it, niacinamide in it. So I just thought that was like really cool. So I picked that up. And then I picked up like other goodies too, like a makeup palette by them. Cause I was like already on the website. You know how that goes. I just like bought a whole bunch of other goodies. So anyways, a lot of it is just like, what I've noticed is they're starting to like list ingredients like vitamin C, 2%, 5%, things like that. 10% niacinamide. And I'm just like, wow, this is like really, really good. Oh, I want to try this. The clay facial by them. Anyways, I just like, just fun stuff. Another thing I picked up for Black Friday, I freaking love these. You ready? Okay, you ready? It's like so me, okay. I got me some brand new shoes. I freaking love these. Um, I think, like honestly for Black Friday, like it wasn't that big of like a sale. I think it was like $20, $30 off or whatever. But I always wanted these. I love the color. It's fantastic, made of plastic. It's like this very, just like, I don't know, Candyland vibe. So I picked this up and I love it. So I can't wait to wear it with an outfit. And then I have picked up other stuff here, but we'll talk about that later. Also, I hope you guys picked up the Rich Lux palette, which, you know, I have my makeup palette. I love it so much. Check it out. Okay, shameless plug. I want to say that this video is sponsored the house by adamandeve.com. Thank you, adamandeve.com, for sponsoring this video. Definitely check them out. Use code LUX for 50% off and free shipping. Exclusions do apply at adamandeve.com. So let's talk, because I feel like we need to talk. So we need to talk about James Charles, because... Power on Bluetooth mode. James Charles is in the drama again. 24 hours. James Charles Drama Watch. Are you guys ready? Okay. So I found this out on Power like the Reddit and stuff like that, and I was kind of shocked by it. So James Charles, wait, let me find, let me get the receipt. I have all the receipts, girl. Okay. So there's this Instagram account, and I was happened to go through it, girl, and I couldn't believe that this happened. Okay, so the Instagram account, it's called Logo TV. So Logo TV is like a it's like a TV station and they were on the red carpet celebrating like the People's Choice Awards and they were specifically grabbing people from the LGBTQIA community that were at the People's Choice Awards, right? Well, James Charles have the receipt, you know, you already don't have the receipt. He was on the red carpet. So when I looked at it, I was like, oh, okay, James Charles went to the People's Choice Awards. Okay, great. Right? I don't really like the outfit. It, I don't know. I, I, I've seen him. I'm telling you, James Charles, every time, he just like drops the ball for me when he comes for fashion. Like if James Charles wants to be an icon, a legend, like he could walk the red carpet with chaps, ashless chaps, turn around, boom, just, you know, reveal, show the ashless chaps and give, give the people what they want. Again, another missed opportunity. This look that James Charles came down the runway on the red carpet is not memorable. No one's gonna care. It's just like, it's stupid, it's boring. It's, uh, it's it's very much giving like INC at Macy's, International Concepts, right? I love that brand, but like, that's not red carpet, okay? You're gonna wear that, the red carpet, really? Then his makeup, oh my God, I've seen him do better makeup. He wasn't even trying. He probably was just like, oh, let me just go, just to go, girl. But honestly, he could have did a lot better. He needs me to show him how to, stop the show on the red carpet, okay? Whatever. So, I was reading the comments on Logo TV. Well, in the comment section of that Instagram thread, of Logo TV's Instagram thread, 
here's what they go because the receipt goes as follows. I'm not hating, <laughs> I'm just saying, but when I swiped to James Charles, I choked on my cough drop. Really, James? Y'all lost me at James Charles. I'd leave James Charles off the feed. Why James Charles, why? Those were the top comments when I checked. Literally all of those on that Logo TV thread are about James Charles. Everyone is talking about James Charles on that thread that Logo TV posted, which is a huge network, huge network. Maybe someone there, some intern who runs the account doesn't know about the scandals. Maybe they wanted the scandal. Maybe they wanted the scandals to keep it relevant, but this is kind of damaging. But let me go. The receipt goes as follows. It goes like this. Yeah, that was a misstep, including that kid. Not James Charles. Why was James Charles the predator there? Really? James Charles next to real stars? Thank you, next. James Charles, really? Yikes. He's not a good member of the <sighs> glorifying that predator James. Why was James Charles there? Should he not be canceled for SA and be jailed? Can we stop celebrating toxic people? James Charles jump scare. Thanks Logo for glorifying predators. That grown ass man should not be given a platform by y'all. <laughs> the people. Those were the those were people leaving that underneath Logo TV's Instagram account of celebrities walking the red carpet. James Charles' past is still here, haunting him till this day. I thought that a lot, I mean, I'm just saying, I've done, I've been on the internet for over 10 some years, girl, and I feel like somebody does something Monday, and then by Wednesday, people forget about it. But they're still coming after James Charles and they're still talking about it. And I'm just like, wow, you know? And a lot of his friends that hang around him, they still hang around him. He still has sponsors. You know, I'm going to say this. There have been a lot of people in Hollywood who have done a lot less and have been canceled and blackballed from red carpets from movies, TV shows, radio stations, podcasts. They just been exiled away from the community. And James Charles is still here doing his thing. And it's so interesting to the, the dichotomy of like what happened. You know, the situation that happened, I know it likes to be, and I'm not defending James Charles, I'm just keeping it real. The way when I looked at it, and we tend to sensationalize things here on the channel, but when I look back at it, it seemed like James Charles, and he said it himself, James Charles said it himself, that he was talking to a guy that he did not know was underage. They didn't meet up, they didn't do anything like that, but they were communicating online, and James Charles was like, well, I didn't know he was underage, I was desperate. And so with that, him saying it, making the video, then he deleted the video, I think that at what point would it had have gotten to for it to be him canceled by Hollywood and things like that, right? Because from the inner circles of James Charles, they say, oh, he's a really good guy. You know, you don't know him. You should really see his side because they tend to humanize him. I understand that. But it just was something that even though maybe it wasn't what people think it was, it was still enough that till this day, years later, people are still in the comments saying no James Charles and saying all those things about him. So I don't think that this will go away anytime soon. It's still here. People are still in the comments. So when I look at James Charles' Instagram account and his YouTube and his TikToks, those aren't there. I don't know if they're being deleted. I don't know if this like his community outweighs the, the small nuisance of the people saying it. But I do feel like there is some type of PR that needs to be done there because people are still mentioning it. Maybe that's something he'll never get away from. Maybe that's something that he needs to continuously apologize for in the future. But those comments alone, those are real comments by real people. 
And that's what they said. Unless there were fake bot accounts by some there. I don't know about. But it's Logo TV's Instagram account. So I think that looks bad on James Charles because, I mean, I say it looks bad, but he could easily parlay that into something positive. Like maybe going on a reality TV show. If, if Logo TV had a reality TV show and they put gay celebrities in one house, that, could, that was a good storyline for him. Saying like, that's not how it went down. I was falsely accused if that's what he wanted to do. Now, I'm not defending, I'm just talking from a PR standpoint here. But you know, it's just sad. I'm looking at it and I'm like, I'm sad by it because here it is, James Charles still is getting some heat for it. And yet he doesn't say anything about it. That's how people feel. And I just kind of feel like it's interesting. Doesn't matter what I think about it. I'm gonna pass it all on to you. What you guys think about that in the comments down below. So let me know what you think about that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, I love you so much.